Jesus has just answered the Pharisees question about marriage. He said that Moses' regulations allowing divorce was not God's original intention. Jesus said that what God has joined together, let no one separate. In apparently not allowing divorce, Jesus had thrown his disciples into quite some confusion. Didn't Jesus allow any exceptions in which divorce was permitted? When they were in the house again, the disciples asked Jesus about this. He answered, anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another man, she commits adultery. Throughout this whole discussion on marriage and divorce, it's interesting to see how Jesus was especially concerned to protect and uplift women. In fact, I think it's very important to notice that Jesus treats men and women as equals in the marriage relationship. In his earlier answer to the Pharisees, Jesus goes back to the principles found in the book of Genesis, that marriage was intended by God to be forever. It was to be a lifelong union between one man and one woman in which the two would complement each other and would contribute to the well-being of each other. Now, to his disciples, Jesus reinforces the permanence of marriage. With that in mind, what would you say to a friend who confided in you and asked you whether to stay in a marriage or leave? What principles from the Word of God would you use to help you answer? <laughs>